Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you two different games that you can play at home to practice your skills. The first game that we're going to do is using a muffin pan, some paper, and some sight words. Now Samantha and Ethan are working on their uh, number sight words right now, so I put those in the tin for right now. But you can also do addition and subtraction in there. You can do more sight words. These are all different sight words. You can also use your CVC words to do, and you can put those in the 12 different compartments of your muffin pan. Another way you can play, and actually let's play first and then I'll show you another way that you can play too. So you're gonna need your muffin pan, your words or numbers, and for a ball, what I'm using is just some squished up tin foil for our ball so it doesn't bounce. You want something that's not gonna be bouncy because you want it to stay right into the pan. So, Samantha, are you ready to play? Are you ready? Yeah! All right, let's play. So, Sammy, you're going to come back here, or you can stay right there, that's fine. And your job, you remember what to do? Yeah. You're going to toss it lightly. All right. And whichever one it lands in. So, what number word is that? Six. Six. And then you can keep going. Go ahead, do it again. Yay! What number word is that? One, one. One. Very good. Do it one more time so they can see. So they can make sure you get it. One more time. I'm going to try to know. And then we'll play some more. I'm going to try to know. What number is that? Zero. Zero. So you can see Sammy wanted to get zero, so that's the one that she tried I to get. I wanted to get on six. One and zero. Very good. And I did it so, so easy. Another way you can play is actually, excuse me, see, you can actually put in different numbers. So I'm going to throw these in really quick, right over the ones we have. And what you can do, try and spread them out. I did numbers zero through ten. And I added one more zero, because what we're going to do is we're going to play an addition and subtraction game with us. So what you can do is now instead of using one foil ball, you're going to use two. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to throw it in. Go ahead, you can throw the next one, Sam. Six, my man, number six. And I, and I throw it in, hope I get on to ten. Because right. ten is my lucky number. All right, throw it in. Good job. So now for this one, for her, for her age, I would do 10 take away 6. So what's 10 take away 6? Use those fingers if you have to. 10 take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. 4. So 10 take away 6 is 4. So you can do it that way. You can also do it away, say I land on 5 and 3. So you would say 5 plus 3 equals 8. So there's two different ways that you can play that game for addition and subtraction. So fun way to play, again, just ripped up pieces of paper, thrown into the muffin tan, tin foil in a little ball and throw them in. Just another fun way to practice different skills. So another game, so say you don't have a muffin tin at home. So now I took some paper, I took some paper and I laid out, you're gonna show them this one, remember? I laid out nine words, nine sight words. So do you remember how to play? Yes. So now what you're gonna do, you have to give yourself a little room. So you're gonna stand back here, show them how you throw. Oh, that was a little too hard. That was a little too hard, a little too gentle. You can't do it too hard, only gentle. Yep, and then you're gonna throw it in the Another way to play that you can do, so another way that you can play if you don't have a muffin tin or even just to play in a bigger version, we use paper, markers, and then for our, um, our squishy or whatever it is, our ball, we used um, plastic bag and I just used coins to make it heavy. 
So just throw it gently. And again, if you wanna do addition and subtraction, use two bags, throw it on, and whichever numbers you land on, add them, subtract them. You can do sight words, you can do sentences, put a sentence on this. I see a little red car. Anything to get them practicing, okay? So again, we have Muffington game and just our puzzle game over here. So again, I will be back again with some new games and activities, but keep practicing those skills. And again, show me some videos, send me some pictures. I'd love to see you practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.